guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is really geared toward those of you that are novice makeup users. Those of you that don't use makeup today, maybe you're thinking about it, maybe you feel a little bit intimidated by all of the different products that are out there. I wanted to create a tutorial and a drugstore starter kit that you could start out with if you are just wanting to start wearing makeup for the first time. Maybe you're young and this is your first venture into makeup, or maybe you're older and you were never really interested in it before, but now you are. This is kind of for everyone that falls into that category. I think this would also be helpful for makeup users that maybe are looking for a no makeup makeup look. Other than the lips, this is really a no makeup makeup tutorial as well. But if you are intermediate or advanced in makeup and maybe you have a makeup bag full of high-end products, and you're looking to replace them with some drugstore products, I will link my Best of Drugstore Beauty playlist below where I have top five drugstore everything from primers, mascaras, eyebrow pencils to bronzers and contour products. So you can watch those videos and kind of pick and choose the products that you want in your kit based off of what sounds most like something you would enjoy. So I think unless you're a beginner, those videos might be a little bit more helpful than this one. But for those of you looking for a no makeup makeup look or to just start wearing makeup for the first time, then keep on watching and I really hope you find this helpful. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And click that subscribe button if you have not already. I would love to have you back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. And with that, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so those of you that have been watching me for a while know that I like to start with my eyebrows because it just bothers me when they're super sparse and not filled in. I feel like brows just completely frame the face. So obviously the first product I'm going to recommend is a brow product. And if you have sparse brows like me, if you want to start filling in your brows, I'd recommend going with something like this. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It's got a spoolie on one end so you don't have to worry about owning a spoolie or getting a brush that has a spoolie because it comes with one. And then it has a really really fine tip to make those brow like strokes. And in my opinion if you're just now getting started with makeup Going for your brows is gonna make the biggest difference the fastest. If I don't do anything else, if I literally have just one minute to get ready, I will throw on my brows and that is it. They are the most important step in my makeup routine by far. And the easiest way for me to fill in my brows is by outlining them first and then just filling them in with brow-like strokes. So you just outline the shape that you want and then fill it in. I know it can be intimidating when you're trying to recreate those Instagram brows, but especially at the beginning, all you really need to do is make your own brows a a little bit more defined, not create new ones. And the next step is to go ahead and set your brows. And I would say if you are blessed with full, beautiful brows, feel free to skip the filling in part and just go straight in with this step. And for that, I would recommend this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This is just a clear product. So if all you wanna do is get your brows to stay in place, just go with something like this and skip the filling in part. If you need to fill them in and you want them to stay in place, then I would go in with this after that last step. And the next step I would recommend is to go ahead and put something all over your face as a base. This can be something extremely sheer and lightweight or something with fuller coverage depending on where you are in your makeup venture and what kind of coverage you need. So I have three different options here depending on where you are in that spectrum. The first option and what kind of inspired this video was this number seven City Light Tinted Moisturizer. I spoke about this in my best of number seven video. This is for the novice makeup user, someone that doesn't put anything on their face today and you just want something you can apply with your hands that's super, super simple, lightweight, and isn't even gonna look like a foundation. It's just gonna barely barely even at your skin tone, act as a moisturizer, and act as an SPF. And if you're a little bit more comfortable with something on your face, maybe you need a little bit more coverage, if you have more mature skin with dark spots, or if you're struggling with acne, I'd recommend taking that one step further and going with something more like this. This is the Misha BB Cream. You guys know how much I love this BB Cream. It has an SPF of 42. I would say a solid medium coverage. It's a little bit of a thicker consistency, very moisturizing, brightening. Because of the coverage, the SPF, and how moisturizing moisturizing it is. I think this would be really great on more mature skin if you want that little bit of extra coverage. And then the third option, if you are looking for a full-blown foundation, I would go with something like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This comes in so many different shades. It's super, super affordable, and you can apply this with your fingers easily. I would say the coverage on this and this are very similar. This one's a little bit more lightweight, does not have an SPF, but it'll give you that nice medium coverage. But because I want this to be a true beginner's makeup tutorial for novice makeup users. I'm going to go in with that first option. This is the City Light Tinted Moisturizer by number 7. I'm just going to go in starting where I want the most coverage, which is on my cheeks and work it in. And you guys can see that just gave an extremely sheer coverage, added some luminosity and SPF to the face, 
but it's not a foundation by any means. So the next step is to go in with a concealer. You guys already know my all-time favorite concealer for any skin type is the Maybelline Fit Me. So I recommend this being in everyone's beginner drugstore set. And the way you want to apply this as a beginner is not the way you see on Instagram or most YouTube videos. You want to use a very, very minimal amount. So what I like to do is just dot it right here where I have darkness on both sides and then just take your finger and push it into the skin. And you kind of spread it out that way. Rather than covering all of the area you know you're gonna to need to cover with concealer, you just put a little dot and then in tapping motions, you spread it all over wherever you need the concealer up underneath your eyes. And this is really gonna help with creasing and with looking like you're wearing too much makeup. And then most of us have discoloration right here around the mouth, so I'm gonna put a dot of concealer there as well and just blend it out. So you can see the difference between this tinted moisturizer and a foundation. All the tinted moisturizer did is even out tone, but everything, every imperfection is still showing through, and that's where the concealer comes in. So what I like to do is take some on the back of my hand, just a very, very small amount, and then using my finger, I just dip in a tiny, tiny bit and put it on any of my acne scars that I wanna cover and just really focus the concealer where I actually need it and keep the rest of my skin very sheer very natural. And this is just a personal preference, but I like to cover up all the veins on my eyelids. I just think it looks a lot more put together, so I like to take some concealer right here and just blend it out with my finger. Okay, so as you can see, my skin still looks like my skin. It doesn't look flawless. It's not a completely perfect canvas like you would get with a full coverage foundation, and it doesn't look like you're wearing a whole lot of makeup because you aren't. So now that we have the base down, what you want to do is set it with some sort of a powder. And what this is going to do is keep everything in place keep you from getting too shiny and set your concealer so that it doesn't crease. And for this, we're going to introduce the very first brush in this whole routine, which is this e.l.f. blush brush. This is $3. I think this should be in everyone's starter drugstore kit, as well as this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is also about $3 and is an excellent, excellent setting powder. I'm just going to dip my brush in and set underneath my eyes first because that's where we really don't want the concealer to crease. And I'm also going to set my eyelids. This is optional depending on whether or not you put concealer here. And I have oily skin, so I'm going to pretty much set my whole face very, very lightly. But if you don't, feel free to just set the areas where you get a little bit shiny and the areas where you concealed. You want to make sure you always set your concealer with a powder so it doesn't budge. And then rather recommending a contour, bronzer, and a blush product to you guys, if this is your starter drugstore kit, I would go with just a bronzer because you can use it as a blush, contour, and as a bronzer and the best bronzer for a lot of reasons is this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and the reason I love this one so much is because it looks extremely extremely natural it's very soft buttery it goes on super easily it's kind of a foolproof bronzer and is super easy to blend for beginners and the brush I'm going to be using is this wet n wild powder brush so this is brush number two there's only going to be three brushes I'm recommending for a starter drugstore kit and I absolutely love this one what you want to do is swirl your brush in there and follow kind of the standard contour rules which is creating that three on your face underneath the jawline underneath the cheekbone and along the hairline. But instead of just staying up underneath your cheekbone, you wanna bring it on top of your cheekbone and onto the apple of your cheek, which is how we're gonna create the blush bronzer contour combo. Okay, so that just brought some color and dimension back into the face. This next step is 100, 100, 100% optional. If you're not yet comfortable with highlighter, please skip this step. If you are wanting to venture into highlighters, I think these are two of the most low maintenance options. The Jordana Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick and the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Highlight. Both of these are stick highlighters, super, super easy to use. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild one. This is in the shade 800 when the nude strikes. And all you do is take off the cap and just run your finger on the top of here and apply to all of the areas of the face you wanna highlight. I'm just gonna go for the tops of my cheekbones and I prefer a cream highlight with a look like this because it's a lot more natural and you don't want super natural looking skin and then an intense highlight. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this in my inner corners as well and on the brow bone. And then the third and final brush that I'm gonna recommend is the Wet n Wild Crease Brush. 
and this is just to create a little bit of dimension on the eye and we're going to be using that same bronzer the butter bronzer by physicians formula and I'm just going to swirl my brush in here and take this through my crease and this is just going to make your eye really really pop and I like to take a little bit of this underneath my lash line and rather than taking a separate kind of smudge brush I'm just going to with my finger kind of collapse the brush like this and run it along my lower lash line. All right, the next step is mascara, and this is one of the most important steps. Just load, load, load on the mascara. This makes such a huge difference in the look. And I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal Original Voluminous because I'm out of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but I recommend the Lash Paradise over this one. It is absolutely fantastic, the best drugstore mascara out there right now. And before you apply your mascara, this is also completely optional depending on how your eyelashes lay. Mine are completely, completely straight, so you can't see them when I just apply mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl them first. And for that, I'm gonna be using these Tweezer Man eyelash curlers. You can find these in the drugstore and they're my favorite drugstore eyelash curlers by far. So I'm just gonna really, really curl my lashes. You wanna hold for about 10 seconds to really make a difference. You can see the difference that that just made alone curling my lashes versus not curling. And since we're not applying eyeliner, when you apply your mascara, you wanna go all the way down to the root of your lash, wiggle it around a little bit, and then go to the very end of your lashes. And that's gonna really tight line your upper lash line and make it look like you're wearing eyeliner even though you're not. All right, 100 coats of mascara later. Moving on to the last product that I recommend putting in your drugstore starter makeup kit is some sort of a lip product. And if you're like, all I do is maybe put on some chapstick, I'd recommend starting with something like these. These are the Revlon Kiss Balms. These are essentially just tinted chapsticks that are going to give your lips a wash of color, but it's not a lipstick. So if lipstick intimidates you, start with something like this or one of the tinted baby lips chapsticks. But if you are a lipstick wearer, you enjoy lipstick and that's not going to be enough for you, I'd recommend going with something more like the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. And the reason I recommend a liquid lipstick over a lipstick for novice makeup users is because if you're not used to wearing makeup, you're not going to be used to checking on it. So you're not gonna go look in the mirror every couple of hours, pull out your lipstick and reapply. And with a regular lipstick, you really do need to reapply throughout the day pretty regularly versus a liquid lipstick. This is something that you apply in the morning. It's gonna stay on through eating, drinking, through your coffee, everything. And maybe you need to check on it early afternoon, but it's not high maintenance. You put it on and you don't think about it the rest of the day. And this is one of the best liquid lipstick formulas out there and super, super affordable. And I think this shade is perfect. And this is the shade Give Me Mocha. It makes a statement, but it's also extremely, extremely wearable, and it's one of my very favorite liquid lipstick colors. And one thing I would recommend if you are gonna go with the liquid lipstick is to apply a chapstick before you start doing your makeup so that your lips are nice and hydrated and that this doesn't highlight any dry patches you do have on your lips because liquid lipsticks can be pretty drying. And that is it. I really hope that you guys that are new to makeup feel a little bit less intimidated now in building up your makeup kit. This is a super simple way to start getting into makeup up if it's something that you've been wanting to do. Even maybe just start with two or three things from this video that looked interesting to you and then build up from there depending on your skin concerns and your preferences. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did find this one helpful and click that subscribe button if you have not already. I have a ton of other drugstore tutorials out there and more to come so don't miss out on those. Be sure to click the bell so that you get alerted when I do upload which is typically every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.